Hey guys, how's it going? It's your pal Keith, and I've got an ESP J4 jazz bass to share with you guys today. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe. It's totally free. I'm going to show you up close videos of some really cool basses and guitars that I get from all over the world. If you want to buy them, they're all for sale at EssexRecordingStudios.com and on Reverb.com. Let's get in focus. So, this just came to me straight from Japan. And it's really interesting what you get from ESP and Ibanez in the Japanese market. You get, it's just different features, different spec. In my opinion, they take a little more, they take a little more time and care on the, the instruments that end up in their home market. And you see a lot of just kind of cooler attention to detail and interesting things that you don't usually find on the ones that make it over to Europe or America. I'm not sure if this model was ever sold in America. I'm really not sure. But this is the ESP J4. Uh, they called it an Amaze. I'm not sure what the Amaze line of of instruments, what makes something an Amaze versus... Um, oh, what's the other one? There's a couple different names they've got for their bases, but that can have all different configurations. Um, anyway... This one's a pretty standard Fender jazz bass style. Got a really nice bridge. All chrome hardware. Perloid pick guard on the tobacco sunburst. Very classic Fender look. But you get the really nice abalone inlays. Mother of Pearl. ESP the 12th fret. Then back to abalone dot inlays. Down the neck. On a beautiful rosewood fretboard. Cool. Uh, as far as condition goes, super clean. There's a ding right there. There's a little ding right there. And there'll be a few on the sides, kind of on the back. But overall, as you can see, very good condition, extremely presentable. You've got those big, kind of vintage style tuning pegs. Let's go ahead and flip it over. On the back, these big beefy tuners. I think they're all Godo, more than likely. Godo is what they use for their tuners and bridge. Beautiful one-piece maple neck. And then you've got the ESP neck plate with your serial number there, 32752. Little cutaway that you kind of see on more modern fenders there. And again, just that beautiful tobacco sunburst finish. There's a few little dings in the clear coat. There's one there. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, if we get the light over it, you can kind of see it there. Um, little kind of dings and marks along the edge there. I think there's a few. Uh, one little thing right there. It's kind of hard to see. But again, overall, guys, very, very good condition. There's a couple right there. Not something you can find every day in your local shop. The weight, it's got good weight to it, but it's still, it's not um, something that's going to kill your back. Neck pockets look good. Yes. Um, the neck is very thin here at the top. So if you've got small hands like me, i got little sausage fingers. This is an awesome base. You know, it's not quite... It's not quite like an Ibanez sound gear profile, but it is nice and thin. It's a very fast neck to play. Right on, guys. Well, I have to get going. I've got a ton of instruments to do. I've got this custom shop, Gibson Les Paul Elegant to do. I've got another ESP. I've got a 77 Les Paul that just came in. And then the hallway outside is packed. So let me get going. And uh, if you've got any questions at all, guys, just hit me up on Facebook. It's the Essex Recording Studios page. Or on Instagram, at Essex Recording Studios. Or on Twitter, at Essex Recording. Later, guys.